SpaceX's Starship program is in full swing, the ambitious goal of making humanity multiplanetary. As the company gears up for its fifth Starship launch, dubbed Flight 5, a wave of anticipation is sweeping the spaceflight community. Big question on everyone's lips. Will this be the launch that proves Starship is ready for its ultimate mission? Following the astounding success of Flight 4, SpaceX is aiming to reach even greater heights with Flight 5. The company's audacious plan, etching the world's largest rocket booster, mid-air, using a gargantuan metal net. Imagine a giant pair of chopsticks reaching out to snatch a skyscraper-sized rocket out of the sky. That's the vision, and it's nothing short of breathtaking. While the exact date for Flight 5 is still shrouded in mystery, Elon Musk recently hinted at a time frame of late August or early September. This gives us a rough estimate of about a month before the launch. But considering this is SpaceX, we're well aware that things can change in a blink of an eye. Despite the excitement, Flight 5 isn't happening just yet. Several crucial steps need to be completed before the world's most powerful rocket can take to the skies. The final wet dress rehearsal, where the Starship and booster are stacked and fueled, simulating a real launch, is still on the agenda. Additionally, the launch license and approval from the FAA are pending, but these usually arrive just days before launch. Meanwhile, SpaceX is busy transforming its Starbase launch site in Texas, preparing for a future where multiple Starship launches occur daily. The FAA has released a draft environmental assessment, revealing a detailed map of the company's plans for the site, including the construction of a new air separation plant. This innovative facility will directly extract air from the atmosphere, separating it into nitrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is a vital propellant for Starship, while nitrogen is used for cooling and fire suppression. This self-sufficiency will save SpaceX time and money, while also addressing a critical bottleneck in its propellant supply chain. The expansion of Starbase also includes a significant upgrade to Highway 4, the sole road connecting the site to the outside world. The constant flow of trucks delivering materials and fuel has taken a toll on the road, making this a crucial project for the site's future. With each launch, SpaceX is inching closer to realizing its ambitious dream of establishing a sustainable presence on Mars. The construction of a second launch tower at Starbase further solidifies the company's commitment to this goal. While Flight 5 is a monumental milestone, it's just one step in a journey that promises to redefine humanity's relationship with space exploration. As we watch the Starship program unfold, one thing is clear. Future is truly out of this world. SpaceX is revolutionizing space exploration with its Starship program, and the company's ambitions are reflected in its ever-evolving Starbase launch site. Let's dive into the latest developments, from a brand new launch mount to the next generation of Starship prototypes. The FAA's draft environmental assessment has revealed some exciting plans for Starbase. The launch site is getting a significant makeover, with the most notable change being a new launch mount for Pad B. This new mount will be far from the traditional round design, and the document provides several possible layouts, each with its own unique characteristic. Variant A, two symmetrical flame trenches on either side, resembling those used by Europe's Ariane 6 rocket. This design creates a symmetrical exhaust diversion system. Variant B. Closed left, open right design with a single flame diverter. This configuration would direct exhaust gases and shock waves away from the new air separation unit and Highway 4. Variant C. The flame trench exits on the long side of the pad, facing away from all other structures. This option provides the most space for integration and operations on the pad. Which layout will SpaceX ultimately choose? The answer is still unknown, but the new launch mount is sure to be a game-changer, allowing for greater efficiency and control during launches. Speaking of game-changers, we're thrilled to have over 2 million returning monthly viewers. If you're not already a subscriber, now is the perfect time to hit that button, so you don't miss out on any of our SpaceX updates. We offer exclusive content like daily Starbase photo galleries, aerial and ground footage of SpaceX's progress, and much more. Become a supporter for even more exclusive content, and help us continue to bring you the latest news from the world of space exploration. With Flight 5 looming on the horizon, we're already looking ahead to what's next for Starship. Company's build site, located along State Highway 4, is buzzing with activity. Let's take a look at the heart. This massive operation. The Mega Bay. 
home to Starship Booster 12, which is primed for flight after a successful static fire campaign. One crucial step remaining before launch, the addition of the hot staging ring. This vital component was introduced after a previous Starship prototype experienced an unfortunate redi, rapid, unscheduled disassembly. The hot staging ring allows for a controlled stage separation process, where the upper stage ignites its engines to separate from the booster, effectively burning the booster alive. This method has been employed on rockets like Soyuz and the N1, and its success on Flight 2 has proven its effectiveness in increasing the amount of mass a rocket can deliver to orbit. The future of Starship is brimming with potential. SpaceX's commitment to innovation and pushing the boundaries of space exploration is inspiring. As we witness the progress of the Starship program, one thing is certain. Future of humanity's journey to the stars is bright. As SpaceX prepares for Starship's highly anticipated Flight 5, a crucial component has arrived at the build site, a hot staging ring. This seemingly simple metal ring plays a vital role in the separation process between the Starship and its super-heavy booster ensuring a clean and controlled separation for a successful launch. Booster 12, the rocket destined for Flight 5, has already undergone rigorous testing and is nearly ready for launch. The addition of the hot staging ring signals the next logical step. Rollout, followed by stacking with Ship 30, and a wet dress rehearsal. Critical test to confirm the readiness of the entire vehicle. Meanwhile, Ship 30, after completing a static fire test, has found itself in the rocket garden, SpaceX's temporary holding area for unused or scrapped vehicles. But fear not, Ship 30 is not destined for the scrap heap. It is likely resting in the garden awaiting the rollout of Booster 12, as the two components will be launched together. While we await the launch of Flight 5, the FAA has made a significant decision that could have a huge impact on the future of Starship. They've approved a new environmental assessment that allows for a dramatic increase in the number of Starship launches per year. Currently, SpaceX is limited to five launches per year. However, with this new approval, they've been granted permission to launch up to 25 Starships annually, with an equal number of Super Heavy and Starship landings. This green light for increased activity will propel SpaceX towards its goal of establishing a more frequent and efficient launch cadence. SpaceX's Dragon 2 capsule has faced a persistent issue, debris falling back to Earth. This issue stems from the capsule's trunk, which is jettisoned before re-entry, leaving it to burn up in the atmosphere. However, some debris has been found landing on land, raising concerns about safety and public perception. To mitigate this risk, SpaceX has decided to move its recovery operations from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now, any debris that survives re-entry will splash down safely in the Pacific Ocean, reducing the chances of debris landing on populated areas. While SpaceX continues to dominate the headlines with its ambitious Starship program, it's important to remember the other players in the space launch industry. One such competitor is the United Launch Alliance, ULA, a joint venture between Lockheed Martin Space and Boeing Space. ULA has long been a major player in the market, and its rockets have been used for countless missions. As SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of space exploration, competition between these two giants is sure to intensify. SpaceX has shaken up the space launch industry, taking a significant share of contracts from the Department of Defense DoD, and leaving United Launch Alliance ULA, struggling to stay afloat. ULA, once the largest space contractor in the U.S., is now reliant on its Atlas V rocket. But its retirement is imminent, leaving ULA with a single rocket, Vulcan Centaur, fulfill its DoD obligation. Don't miss out on the latest space news. Subscribe to our channel, smash that like button, and check out our awesome space-themed merchandise. Join us on this journey of discovery as we explore the universe together.